Hello, I'm Reina from TPM and I'm bringing you the long-awaited free kick tutorial. Now before we get into it, I would like to remind you that we have old gameplay tutorials up on the channel covering shooting and curling, which I would consider as uh, prerequisites if you want to take free kicks. And of course watch that later as there is a possibility you already know how to shoot and you're only here for free kicks. So begin with free kicks are of high importance as the game has become more disciplined nobody wants to get a red card so a free kick in a good position is uh, rare but if you can use it for a direct goal it would be ideal for your team free kicks work like penalties and corners ball is locked on the ground timer around it if the set piece isn't taken in that time frame the possession goes over to the other team if you're standing on the ball, you can release it with an action key. First off, there is two ways to shoot free kicks. For new players, it might be easier to stand on the ball, which will limit the amount of curve you can apply and it will take some pace off the shot, pretty much a quarter. This stance, so to speak, is used generally to right-click pass the ball back into play for a combination or on free kicks far from goal just to resume passing. Second and standard way is running up while charging the shot and then optionally curving it. There's of course many ways of doing it. Most players would want to curve it around the goalkeeper face on and the wall as in a 5 on 5 game there will usually be one or two players standing right ahead of a potential shot. Some players might stand in goal instead trying to clear the ball off the line if it would reach it. Free kicks, like many other offensive situations in the game, will get a lot harder if you're facing a human goalkeeper. For such reasons, power and accuracy is the key. In some teams, the player with the largest body takes the free kicks. The added on shot speed is a huge bonus, even better if that player has a strong foot. If, for example, you have a left strong foot like me, uh, I have in this video, and you get a free kick on a more right-sided position, outside the box it's a great place to make an in-curling shot. If you're left-footed wanting to shoot from the left side of the box, it might become trickier and you have to shoot more straight or beat the goalkeeper to the far corner. Ideal free kicks land in top bins as we all know, but low-placed shots do have their place if there is no wall or one corner of the goal is left without players. It is then worth a try as it doesn't demand effort and you don't need to worry about high, how high you got to lift the ball. Definitely keep your eyes open about player movements, you will have enough time given to you by the referee to take the shots, so don't hurry and see if you will find an opening for an easier shot to take. If you shoot a low shot, traveling on pitch, you need to aim very much for the bottom corners as a bot goalkeeper will parry your shot coming to a small radius around him in the center of his current location and it will make it easier for defenders to clear the effort. A very good way of beating the goalkeeper is trying to aim for a shot that bounces in off the post. Most of these happen through luck but these kinds of shots are pretty much unsavable for bot goalkeepers. Same goes for penalties. It will even give a rough time for human players standing between the sticks. If you shoot over the wall, it's important to note that a large player who is also jumping will most likely block your shot. Even small players can if they time their jumps and head at the same time. Pay attention who is in the wall, who is standing on goal line and see if you have an option to maybe pass it to your teammate who might get a more clear line to shoot. I wouldn't recommend lobbing the bot goalkeepers though as they are quite static and it would be more relying on a bug rather than a true lob goal. There are angles however from where a lob could mess up the bot goalkeeper's positioning and it would go over and around him. I hope most of your questions got answered in this video but if you have anything you'd want uh, us to specify be sure to write that down in the comments or in the discord and thank you for watching.